Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're answering your questions today in Abu Dhabi at the Heart Valve Society Conference in Abu Dhabi. I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Rakesh Suri, who is the CEO of the Cleveland Clinic in Abu Dhabi. And he's also, if I remember right, Dr. Suri, you're still practicing in addition to being the CEO, in addition to being the president of the Heart Valve Society, you're still the chair of thoracic and cardiovascular surgery. You must be busy. Uh, thanks, Adam. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to be here, and it's, uh, it's fantastic that you're here with us. This really speaks to the importance of patient advocacy and what we do. And I approach that question from the same angle. Uh, I can be a better patient advocate as a CEO and a heart surgeon when I'm involved in all aspects of care at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. And we're able to not only take these academically into the world, but also train hundreds if not thousands of people through the Heart Valve Society. So I love being part of it all. Yeah, well, it's incredible what you've done. All the cardiologists that are here, all the surgeons that are here, you're talking about the anesthesiologists. I talked to an engineer earlier today, the medical device companies. Uh, congratulations on the success of this meeting. Uh, really is impressive. And what I thought we maybe we start with is, if you were to think about what you'd like to achieve at this meeting, what's your one goal that you'd like to accomplish? What would it be? The goal is to stimulate curiosity. And as I mentioned in my presidential address this morning, really to set a vision in how we can improve uh, as a heart valve community of experts studying, diagnosing, treating, and following up patients with heart valve disease. So I spoke, I know there's one thing, is curiosity is my one thing, but part of curiosity is understanding the value proposition of what we, what we do. Uh, and number two is leveraging disruption through technology and new ways of thinking about, about heart valve uh, conditions. And third is, uh, is really being a good partner with industry as we're evolving a new platform of digital interface. You know, two thirds of the world's population has a handheld digital advice, device. And this is something we're gonna to have to be very savvy with moving forward as heart valve specialists. Yeah, well, I couldn't agree more. And now let's, Dr. Surya, answer some questions, right? Absolutely. We got bunches and bunches of Bring them that came in here. So the first one is just all about this idea of transcatheter mm. technology that's come into play. And uh, Dana asks, what is the status of development for catheter and placed mitral valves similar to TAVR? Yeah. So the answer, uh, is it Dana? Mm -hmm. The answer, Dana, is that it depends. We utilize the right tool for the right condition at the right time. Uh, there's, a, there's several of us around the world who not only do open chest surgery when it's necessary, but also robotics, which is really a non-chest opening surgery. You operate through ports the size of a finger in the side of the chest to transcatheter where we're able to take what we've done with open surgery, robotics, and now with new technology, do the same through the groin with a needle prick the size of a pencil tip. So it really depends. We've got a whole host of techniques and tools, and what you need to do is find a cardiologist and a surgeon that you trust, and then sit down with them in the heart team and go over the indications the risks, the benefits, and the alternatives, and make a decision together. Got it. And specific to this idea of um, TMVR, the replacement side of things, yeah. I've heard that there are some devices that have been maybe in clinical trials. Uh, I've heard of Tendine, for example, that yeah. might be one. Are those things happening here at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi? Th they indeed are. Mm -hmm. We're, we're uh, on the tip of the spear of innovation from an open surgery perspective, robotics and transcatheter. But what's really important in the mitral space, Adam, and the rest of the audience is to remember the following. If you can save your natural mitral valve, it's always better. The mechanisms of degeneration of the mitral valve are largely different than those of other valves, particularly the aortic valve, where most of the treatment is, involves replacing it with a new prosthesis. In the mitral space, we know that if you're able to preserve your own tissue and use a needle and thread or some robotic or transcatheter technique to save your own tissue, patients live longer, they have less complications, and they require less blood thinner. So the answer is sit down with a team 
who has the armamentarium in front of them on all three fronts, surgery, robotics, and transcatheter, and let's figure out what's right for you. Perfectly said. So I can't thank you enough, Dr. Suri, for taking the time out and running this incredible meeting. And as we always say here, keep on ticking.